Well, first of all, it's, it's been fantastic. The people in Muncie, the people on the Ball State campus have just been so welcoming, so friendly, um, so willing to go out of their way to help us get adjusted in so many different ways. You're absolutely right. Putting the staff together was the first priority, and I feel very good about where we're at. We retained two coaches that were there that have fit in very nicely with the coaches that I've brought in, both from my staff at Elon and some other places uh, to combine for, for a nice blend of coaches. We have a couple guys that have strong Ohio, Indiana recruiting backgrounds, which will certainly help us here as we move forward. I think taking a look at your resume, the one, uh, not the one strength, but the biggest strength is the offensive numbers that you guys put up. Tell me about your offense and what makes it work on the collegiate level. Well, I think that the great thing about what we do, uh, what we do offensively is the flexibility of the system. We're a no-huddle team, but we're not necessarily a spread team. We use a tight end. We use a fullback. We utilize our personnel. And when you're going into a new program and you inherit a certain group of, of young men, it gives you the flexibility to get the best guys on the field. When you take a look at what you've got coming back, uh, what are some of the areas that you really like about this team that will be returning here in the, the 2011 season? Well, one of the things that jumps out to me is the depth in the defensive secondary. And, of course, as we know, that the secondary is one of the keys to any team being able to defend the pass. Um, I think we're a little bit thin and a little bit young up front, uh, and we hope to enhance our depth on the offensive and defensive line in this recruiting class. And talking about the recruiting class, a signing day here coming up next Wednesday for you. Uh, what's been the reception like just in general throughout the recruiting process? Because, you know, they had, I believe, 17 commits is what I saw. Uh, and obviously, you know, changes in coaching staff can change that. But what's, your, what's been the response from these young men um, throughout the entire Ball State recruiting process? Well, what you're trying to do is build relationships in a very short period of time. Typically, you have almost a year or nine months or in some cases six months to build a relationship with a recruit and his family, and we're trying to do it in two or three weeks. So it has been a crash course both for the recruits and for us, but our staff has been working very, very hard. Uh, I'll be leaving from here tonight and going and traveling the rest of the week. So it's, it's real important that it's a sprint to the finish, but I'm real pleased with how it's going so far. And when you take a look at um, the history of Ball State, obviously, you know, a couple years ago they had the best season in school history. What's your vision for this football program as you take over it and, you know, try to get it back up to that level where it's competing for a MAC championship every year? Well, one of the things that I take a great deal of pride in is the fact that my teams at Lehigh and Elon were very consistent. And to me, that's the sign of a program where you're competitive every year, uh, you're competing for championships, you're in every game. Um, and, and one thing I hope to bring to Ball State is that stability and hopefully a team that competes consistently. As far as the quarterback position, uh, Keith Wenning made some strides last year. I don't know how much you've had a chance to look at him on tape, but where do you feel, how comfortable are you in the quarterback position and then um, having that quarterback adapt to the way that you've coached offense in the past? Well, I've certainly watched some of Keith on film, uh, and he and Kelly Page, I can tell you, are both great kids. Uh, you know, one of the things that you hope for in a quarterback is somebody who's going to be a student of the game, somebody who just loves being around the game, and both of those guys, I can tell, are guys who are extremely dedicated and very proud to be at Ball State. When you take a look at uh, all the people that they interviewed for the job and people that were, you, you were kind of a name that wasn't familiar to perhaps people in Muncie, Indiana. What what do you think kind of stood out about you and your resume and what you've been able to do that uh, you know Tom Collins and everybody that was making the decision said, you know what, Pete Lembo's the guy? Well, quite, quite frankly, I'm, I'm glad that I wasn't on the radar because it's difficult as a sitting head coach to get involved in a search. And, and to the credit of Tom Collins and President Gora, they were able to keep this uh, a very quiet, which is a sign of great professionalism as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I take a lot of pride in, in the fact that I've been a head coach going on 11 years now and have been in a situation where I had to maintain a highly successful program, but also another situation where I had to take over a program that had really struggled for five years. And uh, 
those experiences are very beneficial. I've, I've seen a lot. I've done a lot. There are basically no surprises for me when it comes to the CEO of the program role. And final question, what are your expectations, what are your goals for the 2011 season? I, I know obviously it takes a while, but you're going to have spring to put in everything that you do. Uh, what are those goals like for this upcoming fall season? Well, right now they're a lot more intangible than they are tangible. The first step is to bring this group of young men and coaches together and get them functioning as one, get them thinking as one, get them confident and believing in each other. And I've been real impressed with the guys that I've met in the program. I think they're very proud to be at Ball State, and they're hungry for a vision and a plan moving forward, and that's exactly what we're going to give them. All right. Anything else you'd like to add? No. I appreciate your time. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Very good.